Okay, everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have another toy playset review for you here today. This is the 1950s Superior Toy Company, made by manufacturer is T. Cohn, C O H N, in Brooklyn, New York. And again, this is the U.S. Naval Base. This came out in the 1950s. I'm not sure exactly what year it first came out, but I'll do some research and hopefully find that out. Put it within this video. This box has seen better days. Uh, but it's a typical mark size playset box. Uh, it's got the art on the front. Most of it is tin litho inside, although there are some plastic pieces. I was able to find uh, these pictures on the internet, which showed exactly what came with the set. So I will uh, attempt to set this up, see what's inside. I think I have most of the pieces, or I have uh, replacement pieces, possibly. But yeah, um, this box has uh, seen better days. It's been taped up in the front, but uh, still pretty good. And uh, we'll take a look-see. Okay, so here we are, all set up. Put up a little diorama here for you, straight out of the box. Um, of course, we are missing a lot of stuff after I broke it out and saw what was really left of this playset. Um, and how did I get my information? Well, when you need to know, you turn to the best. Playset Magazine. This is from issue uh, 21, back in 2005. They did a cover spread on Superior Naval Base. I knew I've seen this before, so I pulled this out, and yeah, that's where I get my info from. And we are missing a lot of stuff with this set, folks. We only have five of the actual T Cone figures. There should be 20 of these. Now, these are very similar to the Marks uh, Naval Sailors. Matter of fact, if I had one, to scale just to show you I mean here's what we're looking at you know pretty close I don't know if they were actually copied from marks or you know done on their own but uh, here's another guy you know pretty close in height 45 millimeter these are not uh, 54 or 50 second you know they're not 132 nd scale they're definitely smaller but uh, still um, pretty close to the uh, the Marks uh, Training Center Naval figures. As always, the uh, the ships are not to scale. <laughs> the planes are definitely not to scale. Uh, the one thing I do like is this crane, though, man. This is a one thirty second scale, I would think, or, or pretty close. You know, uh, definitely uh, nicer than most of it. You have a uh, a working crane in front, has a hook on it. It does swivel, as you can see, and it has this uh, magnetic hook that you can put right on here, and it would pick up uh, 
I can just I'm gonna pick up these boxes. I do have all four of these crates. There are two large ones and two small ones. However, I am missing the uh, there should be cargo netting that goes with this. Uh, but the uh, the magnetic uh, thing should pick these up and lift them right up, which they do. So that feature is kind of nice um, on this. This is approximately, uh, I would say, 12 inches by about 23 inches, 24 inches long. The I do have the uh, plastic fencing that goes around the outside, as you can see. There's a plastic ramp to get up to the gate. The main gate does say U.S. Naval Base. I did read in the magazine that they did make a Canadian version of this. So it'd be nice to see if somebody posts something about the Canadian version. Um, has a warehouse. This one is marked number eight. And of course the tin litho, very similar to Mark's. It's about one inch off the ground. So that's why you need the ramp to get your vehicles up and down. Came with three vehicles. These are more 1940-ish, I would say, than 1950s. But it has a truck, a uh, tow truck, and a little Jeep with a figure inside it. These all had uh, metal uh, axles. Okay. And these piers, there are four piers. They are not connected to the base. Okay, they just sit there. There are markings on here. Pier 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, and then there's a paper mat looking like water. Again, not connected to the base, but it is the same size as the base, so it's probably another, you know, 12 inches by 23, 24 inches, something like that. But really, man, I, I like this set. I sure wish Marks would have came out with something like this. Uh, T. Cone did a great job. Like I said, the only thing I don't like is uh, these ships. Now, something I did with these ships, I did have one of the original ones. It was a, I think it was a destroyer type or another cargo ship. It was made out of that gray, silverish plastic. And man, it was brutal. It was all get out. And the minute you set it down on the ground, it just cracked and fell apart. So... That got trashed. Um, this one, as you can see, is getting very brittle right now and not looking so good. I'm missing pieces to this. The bottom cracked, the wheels. I have one wheel attached on each side. That's as good as that one's getting. So I try not to pull that out too much. Aircraft carriers have made it a little bit softer plastic. Uh, it's a light blue. I do have all five uh, aircraft that came with that. This life raft actually came with the one ship that uh, did break up. So, of course, uh, just to give you some scale, this is definitely uh, not to scale there. But, uh, you know, you do what you got to do with your imagination back in the 1950s, you know. So, but all in all, not a nice, not a bad uh, play set. I really like it. It's really nice. Um, there was another hook. Sorry on the crane on this side. This swivel, this whole thing swivels. There's another hook inside there, if you can see. Um, from underneath, possibly. So you had a, a gantry crane and then a regular uh, hook crane. So what I do have here, like I said, I added some Marks figures just to show you what that would look like. Um, not too bad. Again, 45 millimeter. Okay. These are two ideal submarines that I came across at a toy show several years ago. And I added them to this set. And let me tell you, they fit in pretty good with the, uh, the scale there of the, uh, the other ones. These are ideal, like I said. If you can move, uh, move some piers just a little bit. And if it's anything like Norfolk Naval Shipyard, close to where I work, um, you have a ship next to a ship between piers, so it does. They do park them like this. Um, it's a tight fit, but you can make it work if you bought some extra ships for this. Buy some extra figures. 
said the uh, T. Cohen set superior toys did come with about 20 darker blue Navy sailors that are very similar to the uh, the Marks Training Center sailors. I don't think they use the same mold, but I'll post the pictures I got out of the playset magazine in there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. I didn't see anybody else on uh, YouTube doing a uh, review of this, so uh, hopefully if you guys are collecting, trying to fit, finish your set, you got a little something out of this. If you really want to know what went with your set, you got to buy a copy of this or find it somewhere. I'm sure it's still not in print anymore, but it is uh, definitely very helpful when trying to re rebuild your uh, mark sets or your superior sets like this. So, again, thanks for watching, and uh, as always, keep collecting.